Hi, Vlad here, DiveInsideYou.com. I'm super excited about this video. It's been almost a year since I started this YouTube channel and only now do I finally get a chance to start introducing you to my favorite programming language. Roll the intro. Okay, so this is the beginning of a new playlist and I have to be very careful with its introduction. I have to be so careful, in fact, that I decided that the first thing that we're gonna talk about is what this playlist is not. Number one, Scala, the programming language, is in the title, but this is not a Scala crash course. We're not gonna bunny hope through Scala syntax like there is no tomorrow. It's not gonna be just, okay, this is a variable and this is how you make a function and this is how you create a class and so on. I might do this sort of videos in the future with some other programming language, but not with my favorite one. Mm -mm. Number two, this is not a tutorial either. I might create a full-blown Scala course in the future, but as of right now, it is hard for me to imagine having enough time for that until I start making YouTube videos full-time, which is not gonna happen anytime soon, unfortunately. So if you're seeing a banner right here or a link in the description to the course, this means that this video is really, really old. You should still watch this playlist though, because the course is going to be completely different. Number three, the goal for this playlist is not to convince you that Scala is the best programming language out there. The only thing that I'm gonna say about this is that Scala is a viable niche. There are enough of Scala programming jobs offers out there and there aren't enough Scala developers. So at least from a career point of view, it's not such a bad decision to learn Scala and this playlist might be a good place to start, even though it's gonna be a weird one, I promise you that. But I'll get to that in a second. Okay, at this point, you should be asking yourself a very interesting question. If it's not a Scala crash course, nor a tutorial, then what the hell am I watching right now? I'm glad you asked. This YouTube channel looks like a regular DAF channel at the first glance, but without taking myself too seriously, I will say that, at least to me, it's more than that. There are many reasons why I started this YouTube channel, but the most important one is this. I want to inspire you to take control of your life. Yes, you. I'm not claiming that I'm an expert at this topic, but together we will get there faster, so bear with me. By the way, this is pretty much exactly how I introduce myself these days. They go, so what do you do? And I go, I inspire people to take control of their lives. And they go, oh, so some sort of personal coaching. And I go, well, not really. I'm a software developer and I have a YouTube channel about programming. And they go, oh, <laughs> let me explain. The market for software developers is great. You can easily find a job with good pay and a lot of perks. Even though financial independence and stability are not necessarily the first steps in taking control of your life, I would argue that they are very important ones, to say the least. Taking control of your life seems much easier once you're financially stable. Wouldn't you agree? So I figured that by helping you become a developer, or a better developer, would help us both to come one step closer to being in control of our lives. And in the process, you might even discover the same passion for programming that I have. This is a big task, and I don't believe that teaching you a programming language or two, or showing you how to build a few applications is gonna cut it. So before I start making thousands of tutorials, I need to teach you how to think like a developer. I need you to understand how a developer looks at life. I want to show you how developers solve their daily tasks and how they overcome typical life challenges. This playlist is the beginning of this mental shift that I will try to walk you through. By the way, I can only tell you how I look at things, so don't blame all developers for something that I said. Feel free to blame me though. Okay, so why Scala in the title? I already mentioned a few times in the past that Scala is my favorite programming language, but not because I think it's the best one, it's because it fits the way I think. It allows me to express my thoughts in a natural way. I almost never have a feeling that I have to fight the language. Most programming concepts that I will explain to you in this playlist are not only applicable to any language, but in Scala, they will also compile. This means that instead of having to rely on other tools, I can use the actual Scala code when I will explain a programming concept to you, and it will be a valid Scala program, which will execute, it will run, it will work. I have been a programmer for over 10 years and I have yet to find another language that can accomplish this. It's the same concepts in almost every language, but all of these programming languages don't allow me to explain these concepts with the code written in themselves. Technically, even Scala is not perfect. There will be things that won't work, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This tight coupling between programming concepts and the language's syntax is also the reason why I believe Scala is very well suited as a first programming language to learn, but only if you're not doing it on your own. Scala requires a relatively high degree of guidance or even mentorship. So instead of going and poking around Scala with a stick, I believe that this beautiful language is best learned while following a book or a series of blogs or 
as you might have guessed it, a video playlist. Another reason why Scala is in the title is that you need a programming language to start learning programming today, any language. If you just watch my videos but don't take action, you will forget most of the content. Use it or lose it. If you're still watching this video, it means that you want to know how to take control of your life. And it also means that you have to start taking action today. Or at least next week once my next video comes up. Watch some of my previous videos until then. It's only 30 or so. And about 10 of them show how to build an example project. But you can skip them. They're not in Scala anyway. I started this channel with some motivational videos and then moved on to setting up a dev environment. You might want to check out the playlist section. All right. A few notes before I leave. Number one, I'm planning to occasionally interrupt this series with other content that I consider relevant, but I will try to do my best to finish this playlist as soon as possible. New videos will come out every Sunday as they always have been. Number two, if I manage to get through to you and you're about to start learning Scala, then don't hesitate to ask me questions on my Discord server. Discord is a communication tool. Go to discord.devinsidey.com to join my server. Number three, there's no big project for this playlist that I have already pre-built and have figured everything out before I started recording. As I already mentioned, this is not a crash course or a tutorial. Now, because of that, I wasn't able to prepare the whole playlist in advance and figure out every tiny little detail, and therefore some of my videos might come across as rushed or hand wavy, or they also might vary in length, or they even might be out of order. I apologize in advance, let's just hope for the best. Okay, so the time has finally come to get our hands dirty. Are you ready? There is only one way not to miss the next video, so you know which button to press. It's Vlad, DiveInsider.com. Take care.